What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so we finally did it, guys. We won our 14th badge in this whole game. On top of it all, we caught ourselves a pretty cool uh, Snorlax and went through the Diglett's Cave, you know, did a few things. Got a second, a second sacred ash. Oh yeah, and then we talked to this old guy right here and got ourselves a silver wing, which enables us to go to the World Islands and, you know, go ahead and try and find uh, Lugia. But that will be for another episode. We're gonna be going to, we're gonna be taking a side quest right here. And uh, we're gonna be, yeah, we're gonna be taking a side quest and we're gonna be taking on quite a few trainers here. And we'll, we'll see what happens right now. But anywho, just want to say a few things before, you know, everything else continues right here. But I'm actually very happy, guys. I'm very happy that, you know, things had gone had gone the way that they went. Um, I know that, you know, three episodes of this walkthrough has been a lot. Well, not really a lot, but I'm just giving you guys what you what you want and all that stuff, which is which is great. But I just want to say thank you guys for making this possible. Um, just Basically, just having this walkthrough, redoing this walkthrough, and having it come out a little bit better than what it was. That right there was the goal. And, you know, not only did we surpass our old, or like our original Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough, but we also... We're, we're actually going to be... We're actually going to be matching Pokemon, uh, what was it, Emerald in episodes and all that stuff. That way we could stay in tune, in, in, in tune with uh, one another and all that stuff. As many of you guys already know, I am planning on making the final episode about, you know, Red. And we are going to be using some original team members and all that stuff. Depending on how how pro, like how uh, how strong my Pokemon get. The way everything is going, I I, I kind of have a feeling that we, we, we can, like, we can use some of these Pokemon right here. But it just depends on what happens. And, well, look at that. Parasect defeated. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with Dark Side. And let's finish this guy off with an earthquake attack, and just like that, we win. Okay, so our mother's gonna be calling us, and well, we need to actually heal up our Pokemon right here. So let's go with a uh, full restore, and let's see what happens right here. The weather's good, so he's coming out with a Magmar, and I don't know why I went with the body slam, probably because I just went super speedy and all that stuff. And he's coming out with a camera rub, as you guys can see, another Hoenn Pokemon, and, you know, here we go, Surf Attack for the win, just like that. Okay, so let's move on ahead, and throughout this whole episode, we're going to be taking on some trainers here and there. We're going to take a visit to Mount Moon, and then hopefully finish off this episode by passing by um, the Viridian Forest, because... You know, these are two these are two places that I kinda wanna see. And then look at that Togetic at level 48. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Hercules right here. And let's go with a close combat. Yes, overkill. We like the brutality, and just like that we win. Okay, so let's see. Wow, they've increased the trainers right here, so let's go right ahead and battle this guy. Now we are heading into the territory that we're almost done, guys. Um after you know winning all the gym battles. I, we still got legendary Pokemon to capture, and that's quite a few of them, especially in this walkthrough. And Nessie's learning Hydro Pump, and I am, I'm okay with that. I don't want to learn Hydro Pump just yet. It is a powerful move, but I, I, I would, I would, I prefer the, I prefer the HM move over the the most powerful move right there. So there we go, and more trainers wanting to battle us because we are awesome. And well, Surf Attack. There we go, and... Okay, come on. There it is, and Machoke's coming out, so let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Togepi right here, and go with a Fly Attack. And that almost defeats this guy, so let's go straight for an Extra Sensory Attack. And just like that, we win, and well, let's go with this guy, Hercules, and go with an Overkill of Close Combat. And just like that, we win again. Anders has been defeated. Hey, <laughs> okay, so yeah, we are like we are really, really close to finishing up this walkthrough. It's just the amount of Pokemon that will be featured later on. It's it's crazy. So 
can't wait to do all the Pokemon Legendary ca uh, capturing, the event Pokemon. This guy loves his Steel-type Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and do that, and wow, Steelix defeated, and Togepi grows to level 49, and well, let's go right ahead and continue on our onslaught right here. Wow, that's a lot of trainers right there. Step right up and take a look. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna speed up right here. Ice beam attack for the win, and Macargo is coming out, so that's quad damage right there. And there we go. We have defeated another another fire type trainer. So what we're gonna do right now, guys, is we're gonna heal up our Pokemon. We'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we are, ready to go. And the first thing is first, guys. I kind of want to use. I don't want to go with Fluffolt right here because I have a feeling somebody's going to try and attack me or something like that. Okay, let's see what we got. Here we are in Mount Moon, and would you look at that? Our buddy, R or Silver's here. He's like, hey, Draven, you're here in Kanto too? Some of the trainers here are tough, which makes uh, which makes it easy to train. W or, yeah, train my Pokemon. Huh. Draven, I know, what you're, uh, I know that you're strong, but I can't help to, but to challenge you. Okay, so here we are, ready to take on our good old not-so-good friend, Rival Silver. And he's going to be coming out with a Sneasel right here. Okay, let's go right ahead and... Signal Beam is actually a good move, right? It is strong against Dark-type Pokemon, believe it or not, and just like that, we defeated that guy. So let's go right ahead and get this for Alligator out of the way. Let's see. Discharge for the win. Of course, he's going to be using a slash attack. Holy crud baskets. Okay, so that was strong. And here we go. Discharge. And come on. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. It nearly does it. Okay. Waterfall maces or, yeah, breaks us. And, well, let's go with Togepi. Extra sensory. Just like that. And Magneton is going to be coming out. So let's go straight for Cinder right here. And go straight for a flamethrower attack. And here comes Alakazam. Dark side for the win. And he's going to be surprised at this Pokemon right here. So let's go with Crunch. And just like that, Alakazam has been defeated. Togepi goes to level 50. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his Gengar. So let's go ahead and continue on right here. Crunch attack. And here comes a mean look attack. And just like that, we get to level 56. Alrighty, okay, alrighty, and here comes Golbat, so now, you know what, let's go with Dark Side right here, and go with the Stone Edge attack, and that obviously misses, but Stone Edge attack does its trick, and there we go, we have defeated Rival Silver, and <laughs> he has just been defeated, my training's still not good enough, my Pokemon are so weak, it makes me frustrated, but I can feel that they are getting better after each battle, <laughs> They're still too weak. I need to give them more training. I know. I should take them to the Dragon's Den. See ya, Draven. Oh, well, look at that. He's going to be going to the Dragon's Den, and, well, we will eventually pay him a visit there. Believe it or not, uh, it's going to be a little interesting. It's going to be very interesting. And, well, before we do anything, let's just complete this whole thing. Because, yeah, there's going to be quite a few things that we, uh, that we need to do before we get to, like, uh... Silver's conclusion right here. And, well, let's go with a super potion right here. And, of course, Baoba is going to be messaging us again. And, uh, yeah, okay. That's like four times you said the same thing, homeboy. I don't care anymore. Okay, so let's go ahead and move. And, as you guys can see, Mount Moon has been shortened up, okay? Now, what we need to do is we're going to go up here. And this will take us to another location. And this one right here, as you guys can see, like see, there might be an item right there. Look at that. We found ourselves a max revive. And this place at nighttime, you'll be seeing a nice dance from uh, the Clefairies themselves. But for right now, there's really nothing here. The dance from the Clefairies will eventually give you another moonstone. And, well, you know, this all happens just in case, you know. This all happens when the Clefairies are here, and, well, let's see, there's the exit. Let's go to the house right here. I, yeah, it's open, okay, so, let's see. You must be tired from climbing, how about stocking up on supplies? Let's see how many supplies he has. As you guys can see, not a lot of great ones. 
just a Poke Doll, fresh water, soda pop, lemonade, repel, you know, heart, heart mail. But still, it's it, it's still something. And well, if you talk to this lady, when the sun goes down, Clefairy come out and play. That is true. And I'm kind of hoping that it would come down just to, like right now, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's see. I think. Yeah, I think we're we're right there towards the end. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so here we are in Route 4 going into Cerulean City. And yeah, we are going to be taking on some more trainers right here. So let's go right ahead and just destroy everybody. There we go, charging up for your whatever attack. And yes, we win. Okay, so there might be an item right here. I don't even know. Okay, so this, this one right here, as you guys can see, will lead us to Cerulean City. That's if we were, like, you know, starting up in Palatown and all that. And, well, yeah, the Pokemon are here. The Pokemon right here are not that strong. We still get to level 49. And, well, much stronger Pokemon in Pidgeot. And there we go. We have one. And, well, let's see. I don't think there's anything else except for this young lady right here. Hmm. Uh, I... Um, I what? Okay, so here we go, taking on Sharon, and she's coming out with a Furret. Haven't seen one of those in a while. And, well, she's going to be coming out with a Rabidash, so let's go straight for Nessie right here. And we're getting closer and closer to level 50 Pokemon right here. And look at that. Okay, there we go. And, well... Let us, let us go right here, and here we have the HP up. This is a, well, a much needed item, and all that stuff, and well, here it is, guys. We have made our way to Cerulean City. So now, it is finally time for us to, well, I'm gonna say, let's give it a break right here, guys. In the next episode, we're gonna be going through the Viridian Forest all the way down to Pallet Town. From there, you know... We're going to be seeing a few things, you know, a few things here and there and all that stuff. And we're going to be getting to the conclusion of getting all eight badges. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.